Well, I've decided to show a video of this. My wife loves broccoli salad. And I used to buy it pre-made in the grocery store. And it's, it's pretty expensive, you know, for a small amount. And uh, I figured, eh, it's a lot cheaper if I make it myself. So I came up with this idea, this recipe, and she loves it. So people, other people, other friends have asked me about how I make it. It's, it's really simple. It really comes together quick. So what I got here is a package of what's called broccoli wokley can you see that yeah broccoli wokley <clears throat> uh, this is it's it's already pre-washed it's uh, already cut up and everything it just makes it quicker you could just buy regular broccoli and then uh, you know wash it and cut it up yourself but this isn't very expensive and it just makes it quicker and then what I have here is some minced red onion. This is probably about, I don't know, three tablespoons. You can use as much or as little as you want. If you like more red onion, add as much as you want. But this seems to be about the right amount that uh, she likes, so I'm gonna add that. And then I'm gonna add some Colby Jack cheese. You could use uh, shredded cheddar cheese if you wanted, but I'm gonna use shredded Colby Jack because that's all I got right now. I, normally I like to just use a nice sharp sharp cheddar but I'm just gonna go ahead and do this and just add a couple of hands full. Okay four hands full. That might be a little less than a cup maybe a, a half a cup and then you want some crispy bacon. This is just this is the the, the pre-cooked um, Hormel bacon, and just microwave it for uh, about 60 seconds. And it gets nice and crispy. So then you just want to crumble up the bacon. Yeah, it's nice and crispy because you want to you want a really good crispy bacon for this. And this crisps up nice in the microwave. We got one more. So that's four, four slices of crispy crumbled up bacon. I guess you could use bacon bits if you wanted, but I don't like using them. I, I like to use this this particular type of bacon. Okay, and then final ingredient. Where are you, paper towel? is slaw dressing. This is the, the Marzetti slaw dressing and it's really good. Mm. It's, uh, you know, you normally you would use this for making coleslaw, but it works really well here. You could use a, a homemade dressing if you wanted. It's basically mayonnaise, uh, um, white vinegar, um, sugar, salt, that's pretty much it, but this is just, I go for the convenience, this makes it quick. And then pour that about, that's about a cup. Yeah, that's a cup, so, because this is a, this is a 16 ounce jar, and I usually use half of this jar to make this salad. So that's, that, that's about a cup, about eight ounces. And then, there you go, see? Give it a good toss, combine everything. And that pretty much is it. Real simple, real tasty. A lot of good flavor there. Uh, some of the recipes I've seen for this actually call for adding raisins. I'm not a big fan of adding raisins to food. I like raisins, but I don't like them in my food. 
I like them just plain, you know, handful of raisins. But you could add raisins if you wanted. So, there we have. Now I'm just going to cover this and refrigerate it and then uh, have it later at all tonight for dinner. That's it. That's all you have to do. Very simple. Just a few ingredients. And it is really good.